you're thinking, this is New Zero Land, right? Where is the zero? Well, I know, it's weird, but I, I mean, I kind of I share the channel with this because I did the whole turbo swap video series. So I wanted to shoot this video because I haven't actually shot an AutoZen video in like a year, uh, almost a year. I did autocross last time I shot a video. That was like, I don't know, August or something. Oh, wow, that was a while ago. That was, yeah. Nine whole months. And I realized that I didn't actually shoot a video to talk about my feelings and emotions uh, after the like post turbo swap. Mm -hmm. All right, so the turbo is amazing. And it's like, when you actually get on the boost, it's so much fun. That's boost. So much fun. It's just getting to that point, it's, it just drives me crazy. The turbo lag. Waiting for boost. So, how do we eliminate the lag? Uh, remove the turbo, remove the engine, replace it with an electric motor. The lag. <laughs> that's power. Uh, yeah. So that's another reason for this video. Oh, these rules. Oh, it's. Just... <laughs> oh my God! It's so Why fast. Is all this traffic. And I was like, where are they so... cutting you off? Oh, yeah. Alright, well this is good, you know, because we're not going to make a lot of noise and um, we just talk, I guess, about our emotions. Um, so, I love the sound of this car, and that's one thing you'll miss when you swap to electric, anything, anything electric, you'll kind of, you'll miss the noise of a race car. Um, but, frankly, this is not a race car. Um, there's, a, there's a guy in Japan with a race car, that's AutoZam, the yellow one. Oh. It's really cool, really fast, it sounds amazing. Uh, has like 150 horsepower or something. Um, there's, yeah, there's quite a few. What? <laughs> All the people were like, Um, there's, uh, yeah, it's, see, I love driving this car just because it's so different. Yeah. You can't have boring cars. Life is too short for boring cars. What? Boring doors. What's Syrian? Syrian sucks. I hate that car. People don't like the idea of electric cars. They don't want me to ruin such a rare car. But you know what? It's it's a really special car, and I feel like if I'm gonna keep it forever, and I, like I want to keep it forever, it's a forever car. As I said, like if I'm gonna keep the car forever, it's got to be electric. But if it's gonna be electric, it's got to be just as fast as it is, as it is now, or faster. Ideally, faster. Um, but I mean, I wanna, I wanna get it dynoed. Like when I get back in a couple months, a couple months, dyno tuned. Well, not, not really tuned, but like. Let me just take a dyno tune the T Rex and run. Yes. No, I just yes. We're gonna dinosaur it. <laughs> so I, just, I wanna, like, I wanna get a base. Like, I, I love the amount of power this has on boost. Um, I'll cut it in a little clip on boost. Oh my God, we have to go faster. That's, that's exactly, yeah. Boom. That's the power I want. Uh, but I want that power immediately. And that's where electric comes in. And don't get me wrong, like it's, it's an amazingly fun car to drive. And uh, I'll still be shifting gears. Because the plan is to just get a really tiny motor. I won't say which yet. But get a really tiny motor, mount it straight to the transaxle. And I'll still be able to shift because, uh, yeah, if you, if you use a tinier motor and a transmission then you can go faster and your battery will last longer because you you're at a lower rpm in a higher gear so i can shift into fifth on the on the highway and it'll still you know it won't drain the battery like the zero only has one it's direct drive so the faster you go the higher rpm so the sooner it drains the battery i done a lot of stuff to the car um just comfort wise because i'm a tall guy i'm 6'2 187 centimeters apparently um and uh, I mean, it, I, I fit totally fine. There's plenty of it. There's like two inches of headroom or whatever. I don't know how many centimeters that is. But five, five centimeters of headroom. That's amazing for, you know, I'm a, whatever. And I'll splice in some videos of some close ups of what I've done. I installed a really, really small steering wheel. It's a 300 millimeter steering wheel, um, which is a bit too small. It feels like a go kart. I mean, the car is a go kart, so whatever. But uh, then you can't see the speedo or the tech 
So I installed a little uh, heads up display for the Speedo so that it's like GPS powered. And, um, ooh, what was that? It was like a TBR. Yeah, and then I, I took off the, I, I removed the, the whole center console thing by the knees because um, you end up just getting your leg, your left leg stuck in between the steering wheel and the center console and it's just ridiculous. Um, it's, it's really uncomfortable. Um, so I took that out and I, I moved the heater controls, the HVAC panel, up where the radio was. Uh, here. You can't see it. Maybe the camera behind can. Um, uh, it's just more comfortable. Yeah, obviously suspension, amazing. I still haven't figured out what wheels and tires fit because it's a really weird car. The rear, not really a problem, but the front is kind of, everything's so narrow. And like your, your feet are forced to the middle because like there's the front of the car. It's right, right, it's right in front right of there. you, right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's really tight in here. Jen's taking a photo of my legs. Yeah, just driving the car normally when you're on the highway. What are you doing? Oh. So yeah, driving the car normally, uh, when you get on the highway in fifth gear, fifth gear is under your left knee. It's so tiny in here. I mean, you can reach. I'm, I'm, I'm not even, that's the side of the car. So I, I'm not even stretching to like lean over or anything. It's just, I'm totally comfortable. Just, hi. Okay. Scooter gang. <laughs> Sounds really cool, I have to say. I love the sound of turbos. Um, and I love the power. I just won't miss the lag, not at all. And I won't miss buying gas or polluting or any of that. We're gonna run out of petrol eventually. Yeah. And why inhale all that stinky smoke? I mean, I know the R6 is gas powered, petrol powered and stuff. But when I get behind a big truck or something like that, it's just stinky. It if stinky. we can take away the stinkiness, I'd feel better. Mm. I'm sure a lot of people would feel better. The future would be a better place. It would be. Well said. I know you guys will miss all this cool sounds and stuff, but you know it'll sound like a spaceship. And that's the coolest, I think. But I'd rather be a ninja, you know, like totally a sleeper car. Stealth. Yeah. Oh, this guy's going fast. Better okay. stay in my own lane. What, <laughs> what was that? A bunch of bolts. <laughs> oh, maybe it's fast. Super speed. Oh, I really hope you get up. Should I follow him? I'm following him. So much fun to drive. Alright, 
So this is another thing about gas turbo cars, at least. Turbo cars? Yeah. You have to wait and let them cool down. You gotta warm them up before even driving. You gotta let them cool down. Last time I was at the autocross, it took 10 minutes to warm up before the next race. And then you had to let it cool down and then it was like 45 minutes between races or something, maybe half an hour. And it, so it, it cooled down the entire way. So you had to sit and you had to warm it up so your exhaust is just like blowing out smoke and stuff the, the entire it's time. Just idles and let them burn fuel. You're just yeah, you're wasting, you're burning money basically. Like you're wasting all your fuel. It's a waste. Right now I'm burning money. So this is why I don't like I I just don't drive it. I'd rather just take the bike or walk. Yeah, but it's a lot of fun when I do drive it. So yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and do all the other YouTube stuff. Uh, if you want to see more of Smiley Jen, let me know. Um, she's always fun to have on the videos. Alright, peace! peace.